Hi guys, so I'm going to show you a few things that I got. I got a, these two powders last week and I got these products today. And I have a rave, a product rave right now. And it's about this beautiful thing right here. This is the La Mer, um, the powder in translucent. And I cannot express to you how beautiful this powder is. It's so so finely milled it you can't put enough i mean you can't put too much powder on i put it under my eyes i put it on my face and no matter how much i put on it never looks cakey it lasts all day and it's a gorgeous gorgeous powder um i do have to tell you that it does fluff up a lot so you can actually inhale it so if you're allergic to talk or you know you're allergic to you know powders or what, like stuff like that I would be careful when I apply it because it's so, the particles are so small, it's just so finely milled, it's like a cloud. I'm just going to, I could go on all day about this powder, it's so beautiful. And you get, let's see, it's 60, I think it's $65, and like I said, it's in translucent, and there's 25 grams of powder in here, so you get that much powder, so this is probably going to last me 5 plus years. And I'm thinking that they're probably discontinuing this. Um, I asked my sales associate in Nordstrom at the La Mer counter um, if they were discontinuing. She said no, but that was last week. And then I saw something on Instagram yesterday that it is being discontinued. So I actually went to the mall today to get a backup of it. Yeah, because I'm that much in love with it. I'm, I've been using it all week, and it's just it's so gorgeous. But um, she was actually sold out. So, I'm okay with that. I mean, I have this one and I've barely used it so far, so. It comes with this cute little puff. And I actually don't use the puff. I use a, um, a brush. I actually use this brush right here. This is a blush brush from, um, what is it called? BH Cosmetics. It's one of the softest, softest brushes you will ever ever use but I use this and I dip it in there and I apply it all around my face and it it's just it's just so nice it gives such a luminosity and translucency and such a glow it's just so beautiful so I'm gonna stop talking about it and show you this powder is gorgeous okay so of course, you have the little sifter holes right there. And they're huge, so you have to really be careful. If you turn this upside down and shake it, you need to be careful because it can get all over the place. Let's see if I can get some, um, some powder. Get a little bit more. I'm really scared to shake it too much because I don't, I don't want it getting all over the place. There we go. Now, there we go. Now we got some powder out. Oh, it's all over my hands. <laughs> Shimmers. It's so gorgeous. Look how gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is. It has this iridescent pinky, pinky kind of iridescent shimmers to it, and it's so beautiful. See right there. And actually, you can use this on, on your collarbone, on your arms, as like a, a very subtle highlight. It's so beautiful. I'm telling you guys, this powder, this powder is just like magic. And I've made a mess, but that is a gorgeous, gorgeous powder. And I love, I love little puffs. I just love anything that comes with a puff because that, I love puffs. They're cute and they're soft. Get the lid back on it. There we go. And I love the um, I love the packaging because it's so pretty. I mean, look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's very beautiful for your vanity. And actually, I set it right there, and it just stays up here, and it's so pretty. And something that is similar, um, it doesn't have the um. The pinky iridescentness to it but it is a more luminous powder is this Lancome absolute powder 
and I love the absolute line I mean I have dry skin and that line is so nice for dry skin it's so nice I used to have like a primer sort of thing and it had a um, luminosity to it and it was the most beautiful beautiful complexion product I'd ever bought I was in my 20s <clears throat> and they still have it but I can't remember the name of it but it's really really expensive too so I love the lid on it it's so pretty and then this one has a little um little puff also and it looks like the sifter in this is a little bit smaller but can you see the shimmers and this is actually in absolute page I think that's how you see it absolute powder Radiant smoothing powder is what it's called. But this is pretty too. I actually haven't worn it yet because I've been wearing that. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I'm just like really in the shimmery powders. I love the meteorites. You know I love meteorites. And especially that. That is like the most gorgeous, gorgeous meteorites. Look at that. Look how beautiful. My camera really is not focusing that much today. There we go. Look how gorgeous. Like I said, I haven't worn this one yet, so I'm not sure um, how it performs or how long it lasts. Can, um, swatch that for you. it right there. This would probably be better as a highlighter. This is a La Mer and this is a Lancome. Very, very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful powder. I would probably use this as a highlighter. It's so gorgeous. I love a little puff. A little puff. I love uh, shimmery powders. I'm a sucker for shimmery powders. Especially the meteorites because they smell like that violets and I just I, I love that scent you know I do because I've got the perfume but okay so I'm done talking about these powders um I will probably be doing a powder video uh, showing you all of my powders because I am in love with powders right now this thing has really done something to me I don't know what it is but okay so I'm going to show you what I hauled today and I went to Nordstrom and Sephora so I picked up the Marc Jacobs blush in, sh uh, not shameless, that's the name of it, the shameless blush. And the name of it is Obsessed. And I really haven't um, been paying attention to Marc Jacobs blushes. I love the eyeshadow palettes. I mean, these, I'm just going to show you. These eyeshadow palettes are gorgeous, guys. If you don't have one, they are very expensive too, but if you don't have one, they're a good investment. They are so gorgeous. Look how beautiful. I'm just going to show you. And I barely touched it. It's gorgeous. But, um, like I'm saying, Marc Jacobs is a great brand. I mean, it's more expensive, but it's a great, a beautiful makeup brand. I love his products. I've not been disappointed yet. Now, um, one thing I didn't really like was the um, the Marc Jacobs highlighter. It was, what's it called, Spotlight. I didn't like that too much because it made me look oily. So, that, um, I don't have any more of it. This blush is so gorgeous. I swatched this blush in the store and it had to come home with me because it's so pretty. And the package is a little bit more, um, a little bit different than what I'm used to. Come on, baby. Come out of there. I have to show everybody how beautiful you are. Oh. Okay, why are you doing this to me? There we go. Oh, does it have tape on it? I think it does have tape on it. It's not cool. Alright, well, let's try the other end. <laughs> okay, there we go. 
success. Yay. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really beautiful. It's beautiful packaging. Like I said, it's 204 Obsessed. And this is a shameless blush. And it's shimmery. It's really, really gorgeous. Then you have the little Marc Jacobs thing that covers it up. And you have the beautiful product. Look how beautiful that is. That's beautiful, guys. I could not walk away with this without bringing that home. Look how beautiful that is. If you like um, blushes that have a little bit of a glow to them, you'll love this. Sit right there above the eyeshadow swatches and underneath the powder. See if I can get a little bit more of a pigmentation swatch for you. This is a very, um, I would say a peaky, pinky peach color. There it is. So beautiful. It's it's beautiful, beautiful on fair skin. Going to be so beautiful. <sighs> yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh, something I wanted to um to rave about with this beautiful. This blush that I got from Becca. I'm in love with this blush, guys. Camellia? Oh my gosh. I love this blush so much. Where have you been my whole life? Look how beautiful this thing is. Oh my god, it's like... It's like, it lights up like the 4th of July. It's so, so beautiful. But this has way more shimmer to it than this one does. So this is more of a glow. And this is more of a shimmer. But it really depends on what kind of brush you use with the Becca one. Because if you use a stippling brush, um, Mallory1712, I'll watch your videos. I love her. I love your video videos, girl. Love you to death. But she um, said that if you use this with a stippling brush... It gives you um, more of a glow, more of a shimmer. But if you use a blush brush, it's more, um, it's not as pigmented. So it really depends on what kind of finish you want with these Becca blushes. So, so pretty. But I am in love, love, love with this Becca blush. Like I said, it's Camellia. And it's right there on top of the... Um, Mark Jacobs. Look how gorgeous that is. Yes, it's just, um, it makes you want more. I mean, it, it never, it never stops. It just never, never stops. You want more. <laughs> it's just so beautiful. Let's sit you up there, baby. Put you on a pedestal because you're gorgeous. And then, okay. Um, I love the Couture palettes by Yves Saint Laurent. I have Parisian number no. seven. Have been through one, and now I'm starting on it on a backup that I have, and I have a backup of that backup. <laughs> That's how much I love the formula of these eyeshadow palettes. They are no joke. They're pigmented. They are smooth. They are so so easy to blend. I mean, just a dream to blend. I love these palettes. I cannot express enough. How much I love these palettes. If they ever discontinue them, I'm probably going to get every last one they have in stock because I love these palettes to death. They are so gorgeous. Um, so I was actually swatching these palettes today and I actually have only have Parisian. Um, the other ones, the color schemes aren't really, really my thing. But I've been kind of eyeing this one, number nine. Actually, I swatched it today. And I just fell in love with it. It had to come home with me. And let me show you how beautiful this baby is. Uh, this is not really a new release. This has been out for a while, but... Can I say, I'm kind of slow on getting stuff sometimes. Sometimes it takes me a little while to fall in love. Sometimes it's love at first sight. And sometimes it's not, you know, so... 
And there you have the beautiful East Saint Laurent gold packaging. Number nine. Okay. Look how gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at that color in the middle. Now you know I'm a big fan of that kind of thing. So it looks like there is a a baby pink shimmery color here. And then you have um, more of a lighter peach color here. A more peachy color here and a I would say a, a plummy color. Yeah, definitely a plummy, a plummy purple color here. And this is a more of a redder, a, a pinky red. Yeah, I would say, yeah. So I'm going to swatch these for you. Gosh, look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Look how beautiful. Oh man, this, this palette is so beautiful. I mean, it just makes me sigh at how gorgeous, gorgeous it is. And there's the swatches. Isn't that beautiful? If you love shimmery eyeshadows, you need to check these babies out. And it looks like the uh, middle color is not as shimmery as the other ones, which is good. It's more matte. But it does have some shimmer to it. But that would be a, a beautiful, beautiful crease color. Beautiful. Look how beautiful. I'm in love with you. I really am. I'm, I'm already in love with you. It's been a long time, baby, but I find we finally, we're finally together. <laughs> and then, um, something I have to tell you is the uh, Chanel powder that I have, this Chanel pressed powder that I have. Um, I actually exchanged that for this because I was putting it under my eyes and on my face and it made my skin look so dry. Um, so I really, I could not keep it. It, um, it was not, did not look good on my skin at all. So I actually went and bought this one. This is Dior Skin Forever and Ever Control in 001. And this is actually a loose powder. And this has more of a matte finish to it. But it does have a little bit of shimmer also. It has some shimmer particles in it. But it looks matte on the skin if that makes any sense. So it looks like you get this little brush with it. And I love the compact. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that pretty? We need to arrange some stuff here. <laughs> so much stuff. Okay. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And I'm going to see if I can show you. So if you can see the shimmers. My camera will not focus today. What is going on with that? Yeah. Well, it has a little bit of shimmer to it. Um, it doesn't really come off that much on the skin, I don't think. Not when I swatched it. But it's a really, really pretty powder. So I'll get open for you. There we go. And then it has the little, um, the little cover there. And this is fun, um, but it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful powder, and it's more, it's way more finely milled than the um, pressed Chanel powder that I have. I have look at the powder all over my fingers. <laughs> we have made a mess here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Okay. Do you have the little, um, the little sifter here and you just stick your um, your brush in it and then you apply it all over your face or like in the places that need to be matte and it's a nice it's a nice powder it's really finely milled it's really pretty
I love the packaging. I love the Aurora's packaging. It's just so, um, it's so elegant. It's so pretty. Okay, see if we can get this lid back on. Come on, baby. There we go. Okay. But, um, I'm just going to do powder all over everything. Shame on you. But this is everything that I've got um, today, and I'm in love with everything. I cannot wait to wear this blush. I'm going to try that as a highlighter tomorrow. It's a beautiful, beautiful powder. I'm so in love with you. I'm going to be getting a backup of this. Um, that's going to be a backup, even though I have years of powder. If they discontinue it, I have to have it. I mean, this is, this is love. This is true love. I love this powder. And that blush. Oh my gosh. So guys, um, that is my little video. And holy crap, 22 minutes. <laughs> You're probably not watching this anymore. But if you have any questions about any of the products, let me know. Um, and as soon as I try them out, if you're interested, I will let you know how I feel about them. Pretty sure I'm going to love this baby right here and this one. And the powder is one I really want to try out and really want to find out if it's going to um, not be as cakey under my eyes and look better in my eyes. And um, that will be great. Otherwise, I can always... This is great for under eyes. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful for under eyes. It will never make your concealer look cakey. But another thing I want to recommend with this is if you get this, use it with a more luminous foundation. Don't use it with a matte foundation because I've read, I don't wear matte foundation so I can't really say for myself, but um, I've read a lot of reviews about using this with um, matte foundation. It doesn't really work. You have to use it with more of a, um, more of a, a foundation with a luminosity and this gives your complexion the most beautiful glow ever. All right, guys, so that is my little haul video, and I will see you later. I love you. Bye.